out of mission control. Well, now I need to actually start working on some other projects that I have uh, inside the building here today. First, we have our generator here that's been converted to run on propane. And we did that because we have all the propane coming in for the giant dragon heater that we have. Um, but what I want to do is I want to be able to have it where Mrs. Marshall can come out here, hit the start button, and then have it uh, begin running and not have to take it outside or move anything around, have it plugged right in. What that means is I need a plumb and exhaust pipe. So what I have, some aluminum sheeting, which we're going to cut this in half to make two plates, drill a hole through the middle of it, and then I got some generator exhaust pipe, flex pipe here, that we can use uh, to run it outside the building. Of course, we're not going to need this much, and the longer suction you have, the worse, because it creates backflow, your engine won't work as well. So uh, I think we're going to probably end up needing about that much, about a foot, maybe a little bit more, uh, and run that outside. And we're going to do some tests today and make sure that it works right. Go. Ooh. Not the straightest cut in the world, but it will do the job. Flatten that out. Hammer time. All right, so here's my game plan. Here are these two pieces that I cut. This is one piece, the other piece goes on the outside. Screw holes through both, silicone around the inside of it, and then I'm gonna stuff uh, a little bit of stove insulation right around where the pipe is actually gonna come through. We'll shove that in afterwards. Right now what I do is I mark the building here where I need this to go through, right in there. Now I'm gonna put my first one through the building. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty even. Those are just to hold it in place. Take that one out now. put the actual screw through. There we go. I'll set this one down underneath. Hold it bottom. I got the first few in and I'm just getting ready to tighten them. Before I do, shove a little bit of silicone down in there.
Definitely more of a two-man job, but we're making do with the one man we got. Cross-threaded. Great. Okay, there we go. Uh, here, smooth that out. Okay, and now the cut. I just got done hooking it all up. Let me show you. Got the propane coming in right here into the converter. We have the exhaust going out right there. All the controls are on that side. Unfortunately, that's just how the cookie crumbled. Show you outside. But here's where it connects into the main line there. And then there is the exhaust coming through. All right, we got power or uh, propane going to it. So I should be able to put the go back. Okay, there we go. So successful generator test. We're plugged into propane and ready to rock and roll for winter. The exhaust is working well. We had a little bit of burn in as if the oil and the pipe and stuff burned out. But otherwise, I'm pretty darn happy with it. So this is pretty exciting to have this thing all set up. Now this thing still runs on gas if we needed to, but propane is now something it can run on as well. So uh, thanks to uh, Freddie and everyone who helped us get this propane installed. Really appreciate it. That's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, this is The Real Marshall. Out. <laughs>